This is Night Force Action Report for August 6, 2013. From HorribleNight.com, I'm your host, Justin Lacey. Uh, joining me this evening, we've got Ethan Moses. Hey, hey, hey. But I don't want to talk to him because we got a special guest. A classy version of Josh Hello. Lee. Hello there. I think this is joshlee.net. <laughs> what? what? Dot org. <laughs> okay. Wait a second. I, or I, dot gov. I, I was, yeah, I was going to say dot gov. You look more dot <laughs> gov. Or okay, dot ca, if anything. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Welcome Was to the like, action uh, report, sir. <laughs> As you ask me a question, I take a drink of Diet Coke. I apologize. Oh, man. Uh, very unprofessional. He's lost it. He's Gosh, lost this it. Is, who, who let this happen? Let's turn no, that camera. No, this is great. I, I actually didn't know the name of the show before you just said it. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you might you might settle into the conversation. We're gonna we're we got a special episode tonight too because we are doing a giveaway during the show. I'm gonna pose a question to our live audience and uh, give them a place on our Facebook page to answer that question for a chance to win a copy of the Puppy Games Ultra Bundle. And uh, that'll be coming up a little bit later. Uh, but first. Let's get caught up with Josh. Oh, wait a minute. Ethan's got the longest bottle of water I've ever seen. <laughs> you see that? Jesus. You see that? <laughs> it looks like the fucking space station. How many liters is that? Uh, it is Evian. 57. <laughs> 57 that was, liters? It's like 12 euro. Do you know how hot it is here? It's so. It is so hot. There's no AC. I have to drink as many liters of water as I possibly can. I'm trying to lose weight, so I can't drink any more beer, so I have to drink mm. fucking water now, you know? Yeah, Jesus! It's, no it's rough. <laughs> and it actually cost $1.99, euro, actually. <laughs> you know, that's not too bad. Could, you know, it's pretty good water. Yeah. It's, well, it's, it's, you know, I don't know. What? What's wrong? I'm not, I'm not an Evian fan. I've never been an Evian, Evian fan. I just, you know, I had to settle. Evian? <laughs> what is, how do you pronounce it? E- God, Evian, it- Evian, Evi- Evian. Evian. Shit. You, I had it until you. Well, see, you. I had it, and then you didn't, uh, and then I e- had it. E- e- Evian? Evian. E- Evian. <laughs> e- <laughs> you sound like an old woman yelling down to her, like, like Italian <laughs> grandson. Evian! Evian! <laughs> Evian, come back here on this instant! <laughs> I don't even know what that was. <laughs> I'm doing great, Justin. Thanks for asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you are <laughs> studying water linguistics <laughs> and... <laughs> ah, Larry Croft! Uh, Come on! Get your grandma some water out of the well! Ah. <laughs> that, the water in that bottle was fetched by a poor boy <laughs> who is he's beat by his grandmother on a daily basis. And, oh my, you better enjoy that. Wow, European water fables. I don't, I don't. Is that what you've been studying <laughs> while you've been off the air? That's my. It's my game pitch. <laughs> oh, worth it down. No, uh, no. So yeah, I, I've uh, obviously I've been away. Been busy. Um, yes, and uh, I have I have some notes about what I've been doing. Obviously, um, some of those aren't true. If you guys read those, uh, <laughs> I haven't really been traveling so much. Um, I don't have. <laughs> I don't have any kids. Okay. Uh, but that's it. Everything else is okay. good. Um, sorry, that's it. You guys can't see that. It's not fair. So, I got a new job. I have been doing, like, I don't know, family stuff. I've been bowling. I've been How's camping. That? I've been, you know, just like random shit. Just like, I've just been, this is I've like, just been busy with did you, weird shit. Did you join shit. the Boy Scouts? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I... Yeah, I've actually gotten pretty good at archery uh, <laughs> over the su- this summer. It's been yeah, it's been a uh, it's been a good how, time. How how are your whittling? Like a tie great knots. Uh, <laughs> you know what? You know it's funny you ask because I was <laughs> thinking about whittling the other day. I've never actually done it, but I was thinking. You know what would be time. cool? Yeah, it would be. I, I saw. I was at the a couple weeks ago. I was at this campground, and all these people had they had campers like you would expect at a campground, but it was it was like a little nicer than any campground I've ever been to, uh, just like well kept, you know, and, and, but these people were just like dug in like Alabama ticks. They had <laughs> decks, like huge elaborate wooden decks built around their little campers. And I mean, some of them were bigger than the campers themselves. And, uh, but there's this one family who has these wooden cart and they had to have done it themselves. I think their last name was like bear or something. And they had all these bears carved out of wood, just like statues all over around their little camp. Uh, campsite 
And I was really impressed. I was like, holy crap, this, these people know how to whittle or chisel, I guess. It, at what point does it become chiseling if it's like <laughs> too big? Like what size oh. is it considered a chisel? It's like a diameter person. thing, isn't it? Yeah, don't you have to like sure. keep turning yeah. it to whittle it? Like, isn't that isn't like a circular motion involved in whittling? Mm, yeah, or, I think. Or am yeah. I just thinking a ghost for some reason? Are you thinking? Are you thinking of pottery? Yeah, you now I am. Yeah. That that you know that that's a that was a sexy scene. Uh, you, oh shit! Can you imagine that? <laughs> no. One day, no one idea where day, you're going. <laughs> one of us passes away, and our wife is is real sad and she's sitting there whittling and then then sl- suddenly the righteous brothers begin to play in the background <laughs> and you move your hands in and kind of like i'm milking a cow this is the, the motion i was doing that's not whittling but it's close enough but that could be sensual sounds sensual continue <laughs> um so yeah anyways uh i don't even know why we're what were why are we talking about whittling oh you said the scout thing no that's i just <laughs> like, you know random shit just uh yeah, I'm good. If, in case everybody was wondering, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Okay, good. No, no weird awesome. stuff. No, no tragedies have befallen me yet. Uh, knock on this laminated fiberboard. So, yeah. Oh, well, good. You seen any movies or something? You know what? I have not seen Pacific Rim yet. Okay. Which oh. is unfortunate, but because I know everybody is talking about that. But I did go see Wolverine. Um, the Wolverine. Yes, the Wolverine, and I really, really liked it. It was awesome. Yeah, it was it was fucking great. I, I'm like, you know, meh on like the the X Men movies. Yeah. Uh, Wolverine Origins was meh, but I really like Hugh Jackman um, as Wolverine, and I think he was born to entertain <laughs> us. Um, you know, like he he does that pretty well, mm-hmm. and. Yeah, this movie was not like the others. Like, it had some... Like, the story bits were... How much of a superhero like, movie is it, really? Well, superhero movie, not, like, much. I mean, there's yeah. a lot of, you know, Wolverine having his, you know, like, claws and powers and shit, but um, he he really kills a lot of dudes <laughs> in it. Like he kills a lot of people. It's real. It's, it's pretty awesome. Like he just, he stabs a lot of people in the chest and face and the throat and arms and the legs and, uh, no junk stabs, which was a little weird. Hmm. Um, That's out of respect though. I know. Yeah, well, yeah, I don't really, see, I mean, you, you know, if you, he's fighting like Yakuza. Those, those guys don't really respect you. Why should you respect them? You know what I mean? But, uh, I don't know. It's tough for me not to respect another man's penis. Oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> wow. I meant it to come out a little bit more like different than that. I yeah, but... Uh, don't quote me on that. <laughs> it's awesome, though. It's really good. Uh, it was just so so different. It's based on the, the, the four-part um, series back in the 80s where it goes to Japan. And there's like some liberties taken with the story. If you're a fan of that, you'll... you'll it's not kidding. You'll, no, I mean, just saying, like, you'll appreciate a lot of stuff. I can't imagine somebody being upset about it, but, uh, yeah, it, it's just, like, it's obvious that the people involved really uh, like the character in that story, and they just, I thought they made a good movie. So, yeah, go see that one. Um, so, how do you... And stay through to the end. Well, actually, the I wonder how much they would have changed up X-Men and where they're going with X-Men if Hugh Jackman wasn't so perfect for Wolverine. Like, w- I think they uh, would have moved on by now. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, he would have been like Cyclops in the X-Men movies <laughs> where no one gave a shit and they and then they killed him off in the third one. <laughs> <laughs> like 5 minutes in. That was oh. Who who played that? Who played Cy- it was uh Yeah, the guy yeah. uh mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. Ma- Matt Marsden, James Marsden. Well, James Marsden. Yep. Good good work. And how do you go see this before seeing Pacific Rim? <laughs> uh, it was yeah. it was a date movie. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, Did, you know. Does Huge the, Jack man. Does the lady he not watch... The lady. Uh, yeah, I guess you, you guys don't really watch Sons of Anarchy, because... What's his name from Sons of oh, Anarchy? No. in Pacific Rim. You can use no. that as leverage. I'm just no. trying to help you out. Don't go only to see him. You will be so disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he dies? No, he's a, fu- he's a fucking corpse. He's... I... Yeah, he. Hopefully he's better on... Um, He's fine. He's as good as anyone else in that movie. 
not that young Japanese girl. Well, she was, she was awesome. She was awesome. Is yeah, this? It, wait, was... is the guy a hillbilly? No, he's more of a. I don't know where he's from. I thought he was from Boston, but that's that's not accurate. Really? So, yeah, I thought I thought the show had a bunch of kind of crazy hilljacks in it. Maybe I've never. No, seen it's got show. some stereotypes in it. Uh, so I finally went to see it this weekend, and um, no, not Pacific Rim. I meant Sons of Anarchy. I don't. Oh yeah, never. Sons of Anarchy. Yeah, Continue. yeah, whatever. Sons of Anarchy does ha, just has a bunch of bikers. They're from California, so. Mm. Um, but yeah, I did finally go see Pacific Rim uh, purely out of fear that I would miss it. Like I just had one of those trying to get some people together at the last minute. I literally decided I was going a half hour before I went, um, and just kind of. You know, I'm going to go to this movie by myself, or hopefully some people will meet me there. But do not go see this movie by yourself, especially if you're as big of a fan as I ended up being. Because I didn't have anybody to high-five, and there was, there's just so many moments yep. where you just, you just need to turn to somebody and acknowledge how awesome everything is in front of you. And um, I, I got some weird looks after a while. So, um, but uh, yeah, it's... High-five someone in public? Like a stranger in public, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that happens all the time. At yeah, happens all the time at like Colts sporting games. Sporting events, yeah. Outside of sporting events and um, bars, I don't think so though. <laughs> it does not go over weird, well yeah. over here. Oh, high fiving. <laughs> well, what is strangers. wrong with Europe Spe- specifically? Well, you know, we, we you know people. I, I almost said we. Jeez, I'm not. What's not wrong with the high fives? Hey, whoa. We keep to ourselves. We keep. They keep. Gotta keep saying. They keep to themselves. They don't. You know. That's. That's just kind of like a like a bubble. Don't, don't want to get clue, too close. You know. You, you just need to angle your hand up a little more when you hold it out. Don't kind of point it forward quite as much. Oh jeez. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just a misunderstanding. Um, <laughs> the only other thing I'll say about Pacific Rim is I love the fact that everything that went into this movie basically was created for an excuse to just have giant monsters punch each other. Like there's there's yeah. there's all kinds of other ways they could have handled the battles. It could have, you know, it could have involved technology and and weaponry and explosions and mind control and mutant powers, but no, it's just fucking fist fights. Do yep. they have guns? Yeah, ish. Uh, yeah, no, 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 real guns. A couple projectiles, I'll say. There's but... some projectiles. They projectile some stuff. You know, you know what amazes me about this movie is people still don't get it at all. Like people yeah. literally thought he was trying to uh, create um, the English patient of, of <laughs> mecha movies, and it is it is absolute. I mean, obviously, you have to kind of know something about like the history of. of uh, people in gigantic, uh, you know, uh, robot costumes. Um, but uh, people are still like, like, oh, it's just not like, oh, he missed all these opportunities. No, he fucking did, <laughs> you idiots. <laughs> he, he made, he got, took care of every opportunity. Um, my worst complaint is the actor acting, and that's not even that big of a complaint. Like that's just, like I, to yeah. me, it's like who, who even cares? I mean, like, I it knew it even was, matter. I knew it was going to be bad, and it didn't distract me at all. Like I no. Like, no, everything, no. all the little knocks that I heard against it, I didn't notice them, so... No. Um, they but, should have um, put the Tokyo Drift guy in as the main <laughs> character. <laughs> well, it's Kaiju. <laughs> Would you, could, you imagine, could you imagine, like, that guy being placed into the uh, the Jaeger, and then, and then he asks that question at that point? <laughs> like, he has no idea why he's being placed into a mech? It's like... <laughs> I don't have just a Tokyo me, Drift background. Just give me the five-second version. <laughs> What's all these controls? Good lord. You've unlocked something in Ethan that I didn't know existed. Well, did you, did you ever see Tokyo Drift? No, I didn't. Oh, my God. You're, yeah, you're, you're missing out. I'm trying to see them in chronological southern. order, guys. <laughs> and they, oh, haven't, what? they haven't told me where to stop yet. So. Right, oh, right. Shit. Where are they yeah, at now? Just go watch Fast it. Eight? Are they at Fast Eight now? Six. What is it? They've Fast shot. Six, they, okay. they filmed six and seven. So, are is you right? fucking kidding me? Why? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> it's it's like the Saw and Paranormal Activity side. They've figured out how much money it takes to make these movies, and they can make a lot more. And why not? But aren't those really expensive movies to make? Nah, not the way they're doing them anymore. They make a lot of money on yeah. those movies. Do they really? God, those man. are very profitable. Just the rock, driving. man. Because the, the reason rock, yeah. there's a reason there's a Need for Speed and a whatever that what's the other one? There's oh. another racing movie coming out. Yeah, uh, Forza man. or something. I don't know. Forza, Gran, Gran Turismo, Turismo. Yeah. <laughs> the English patient of racing films. <laughs> Gran Turismo. <laughs> 
Um, and then uh, I spent most of my weekend watching Moonshiners. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> I hadn't. I had not watched one of the reality show documentary things in a while, and um, my that's fian- the one. <laughs> my fiance's family has some roots in some of these places, so she was definitely drawn to it. And um, the the interesting thing about this show, so they actually document a couple guys actually making moonshine and then a cop trying to catch them and then like the legend the legendary moonshiner popcorn setting um and we were <laughs> yeah we were, we were hooked on the show from the title screen because they just you know they do the they do the role of all the characters and it's it's tim and his buddy tickle and <laughs> the cop jesse and then the old timer popcorn and I'm like yeah we're watching we're watching all of this wow um and then also I was reading up on the show, and it just kind of you know documents all their process, how they find out where to <laughs> set up shop and all that stuff. But you you're watching this, and you're like, so this show's been on for three or four years. How the hell has this guy not been caught? And how is this legal? What they're actually doing? So I'm more or less aside from just like the entertainment value, watching it from the like where how are they editing this together so it doesn't actually show him making moonshine even though everything he's he's making this stuff he's selling this stuff and it's completely illegal and uh that's it's really entertaining it's all in the hills of west virginia so you can imagine the character they say that but that's the secret this is actually in somebody's backyard in malibu (laughs) (laughs) it's a really big yard and they've just staged it yeah it's all it's it's movie magic it's it's smoke and mirrors yeah (laughs) it's not real they lied to you so does, on, does the uh, pl- does a police officer have a bloodhound? Maybe that's his problem. If he had a bloodhound, no. he would have it in a second. No, but they're always, you know, he's catching moonshiners that are like ten miles up the road from the guy that they're following. I was just like, well, can't the cam- cameraman like give him some hints? <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, <laughs> hey, I'm not gonna tell you directly, but we're about to go talk to a guy that's on the same show, yeah. and yeah. he's not a cop. He's the opposite of a cop. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, just don't tell anybody. <laughs> The cops are kind of sneaky, though. They uh, they dress up as they look like hunters when they're walking through the the forest looking for the um, the stills. So that's uh, it kind of spooks mm. them a lot. But I don't know. It's if you like those shows, it's pretty damn good. It's on it's yeah. A, yeah Netflix right uh, now. So it sounds bad and terrible or and good at the same yes. time. Yes, yes, yep. all three yep. of those. Ethan, what's been going on? Oh, a couple things. So uh, this past weekend was the Berlin Beer Fest, uh, and I attended that on Friday. I think you uh, posted a great. picture from that on Friday. Um, no, that was just me drinking on Okay. It <laughs> <laughs> yeah. was just me drinking um, alone. It was just me. Well, yeah, you know, I was... No, no, no. My wife happened to be with me at that point, but I went with a couple of friends on Friday. Uh, a lot of beers to drink, and, um, you know, the interesting thing is, is what I've learned is Across the board, beer in Europe, and I'm and I'm I'm sure I'm gonna piss people off when I say this. Do but it. I, I don't care. Do it. Across the board, beer in Europe is better. So the standard beer that you get here is better than the standard beer you get in the states. However, they ain't got shit on our fucking craft brews, my friends. <laughs> They've got nothing. Like there's they they can't compete. It's not even close. Damn. Not even close. I, and and you know what? And actually, I have talked to people who. 100% agree with me. They are from this country. America. So again, well, I'm not just saying America because actually Canada has some some oh. great uh, microbrews as well. I thought it was our um, freedom that made our beer taste better. No, because the, the beers that advertise that actually, according to German law, aren't actually beers. It's, <laughs> they're piss water. Oh. Um, so again, you got to look at it this way: is is again across the board, you get better beer here. However, when you get into kind of the the, the, the tiny micro market, okay, it, it's better better at home. It mm-hmm. really is. Got to say that. However, it was fun. It was enjoyable. It's good to see that uh, people are really taking their beer seriously. Um, but you know what, USA, USA. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> <friends. laughs> sorry about that. Um, secondly, my own personal quests. I've got two, but I'm going to talk about this other one because it's important. I'm trying to create the ultimate grilled cheese sandwich. Um, I'm using the term grilled cheese loosely because I'm, I'm featuring not just your standard bread and cheese combination, but trying to mix it up a little bit. Uh, today I created a cream cheese gouda and um, <laughs> bacon and pepper grilled cheese. It was a bit too salty. 
<laughs> so so seriously, I'm still working through some things, but um, I, I'm I'm really trying to perfect that. I'm pretty excited about uh, you know the direction I'm going in right now. Um, yeah, I I think I think people are gonna be talking. I'm just saying, like when you know, like right now, I don't know who the grilled cheese guy is per se. I don't know who he is, but it may be me in like a month or so. So be on the lookout for that. Um, and then I also saw a guy on TV must- who was the grilled cheese like guy. king already. Hmm. That sounds so, yeah. I, yeah it, you know what? I, what? Prove prove it. I wanna I wanna eat your ch- grilled cheese. I, I how about how like, about, can you combine your grilled cheese making with your paranormal investigating? Is there a way to do that? Well, <laughs> one no, of those I, is really corner that market. One of those is really easy to do with one person, and the other one is just sad to do with one person. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, but no, I'm, I, you know, I'll take him down. Kings are meant to be uh, decapitated with, uh, <laughs> metaphorically speaking. I don't want to threaten this guy. That's the last thing I want to do. I told, told a guy I was gonna. Is, yeah. I told a guy I was gonna cut his head off at the bowling alley a couple weeks back, um, but it's because he had the same name as me, and then I was like, <laughs> well, that's a good reason. There, I was like, there could be only one, and uh, <laughs> and I don't I don't think he knew what I was talking about. <laughs> 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 that's the fucking worst. Whoops. Especially with something like that, because I mean, if, yeah. if he if he got like, like that's like 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 a like a super big win or like an ultimate lose, because if he knew Highlander, he would be like, yeah, and you guys could be right. best friends. Uh, you just you threatened him. You'd be like, I'm Kurgan. <laughs> but but no, it was just straight up like, what did you say? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, don't. No, it's I just bowl. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I wish you luck in your quest, Ethan. I'll get it. I'll get, get it. it. I'll get I it. I almost said I'll get her done. I, I didn't, though. I'm glad I didn't. I like this right here. I and like I'm the... growing, I'm growing a mustache as well. I'm trying to look more professional for Gamescom. Oh, is that what uh, that's for? <laughs> I figured that you guys would want me to go with uh, as much... Mustache you know, as uh, possible? As much mustache as I possibly could. I've become a, obsessed with, with grooming the mustache. Uh, it's not the best mustache, but I think that it's going to turn some heads. I think people are going to say, this guy looks professional. And then when I start talking, they'll say, oh, shit, <laughs> that was a mistake. Um, <laughs> but, you know, whatever. You know, it, 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 you fake it till you make it. That's what somebody told me one time. <laughs> They're You're dead on. now. Um, but, yeah, but, you yank it till you break it. That's what I thought it, they always said, and I've oh, just shit. I've ah. lived by that like every single day of my life since, <laughs> since I was twelve. <laughs> Still trying. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna give away a uh, video game here tonight. So Can I've I got have it? an extra copy of the Puppy Games Ultra Bundle giveaway. It's got four games in it and a couple bonus. Items, uh, including Droid Assault, Revenge of the Titans, Titan Attacks, and Ultratron. And uh, what I'm going to need you guys to do is I have just posted a question on uh, Facebook. And I'm going to pose it here to Ethan because this is a topic that is very near and dear to his heart. Um, But what I need you to do is answer the question on our Facebook page and uh, leave your Twitch handle. And if you stick around to the end of the show... We'll pick a winner from random uh, that is still in the chat. So, what I want to know is, are robots evil? Can I answer this? Sure. (laughs) It's nature versus nurture. And by nature, yes, all robots are evil. They try to kill humans, uh, if they're smart enough. However, uh, the nurture side, like, they can be taught compassion, love... Um, motherly instincts, like that's the kind of stuff where you know you could have Those like a robots. well, yeah, you could have a robot that just that uh that learns some of those other basic um emotions, and then they found like a human child, and they may like go, you know, I'm gonna, I wanna, I wanna, they can't like create, you know, because they don't have working you know parts down there, so they're like, well, I'll take this and it'll be mine, and I'll raise it, and it'll be like me because I wanna. You know, I want things to be like me because that's a human trait, and we taught it that. So yeah, I mean, I think that uh, humans, or I'm sorry, robots definitely are evil, but they can be good. So okay. I, that's I, that's a trick question, basically. Do you think mm-hmm. the born evil and then nurture turns them good? Yeah, okay. absolutely. All right. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. People can change. Why can't robots? Okay. You know, just making sure they're all born evil. Ethan, do you agree? Um, I don't trust robots. Um, it's it's difficult for me to look at the things that have happened uh, in real life 
Um, and, in, you know, robots have taken a lot of people's jobs. I mean, people are so worried about immigrants. Uh, look, guys, let's be real. Robots are taking your fucking jobs. Uh, robots <laughs> mm -hmm. in the future killed the future. I mean, the fact we're still alive yeah. right now is completely against the canon of the Terminator films. Um, <laughs> so we're, we're, we're hanging on by a string as far as I'm concerned. Um, I, I think that, yeah, you could you could teach a robot to be, give hugs, for instance, but a robot's super strong. So it's going to pick up that child and give it a hug, give it what it thinks is a hug, and smash that baby. Well, It'll you can smash that baby good. You have to program the robots. I mean, it, an, an unprogrammed robot, when you turn it on, it will just slaughter humans. It is a death like, machine. That is what they all do. So, yeah, like the movie, Death Machine. Uh, but... <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, no, I, I I see what you're saying. But like, to, before we had toasters, like a man would come to your home in the morning and crisp up your bread. Yeah. Now see? it's a freaking robot. Yeah, but think about all of the artisan bread toasters out that are out of jobs now because of robots. That's what I'm I saying. Mean, I know. I'm agreeing with you. Oh, okay. You are agreeing with me. Okay. I was ready to shake you down a notch, but I'm glad we're no, on the same page. No, what? No. When are we ever yeah, not on the same I, page? I don't know. And, 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 at, and at any given time, even the friendliest robot could just turn on you and and basically pull, you know, pull a piece of your body off and a piece you need. Right. Um, like That's why you don't have sex with robots. Oh. Never. Unless they're turned good and you know it. But there's got to be like a test. I don't even know how. But that's you... an android. You're having sex with the android at that point because as soon as they begin to resemble humans. Yeah, that's a robot. That kind of a... Why do they have to resemble animal? humans for? There's no image. Do they have with sex it. with one? Well, I guess not. As long as they've got like a, like a location that's well lubricated. <laughs> sure. Uh, well lit. Deep enough, definitely for Josh. Maybe um, their hand. They don't have to. Yeah, it doesn't have to be like enormous. They you could just like, out of for convenience, they could just like form whatever shape you needed with any parts of their body. If there are, Ooh. if they were truly a good robot. Yes, <laughs> right. If they're evil robot, then they're just gonna like, they'll just pinch it off and <laughs> see ya. You don't need that anymore. Oh man. All right. Well, Rip yeah. your dick off. <laughs> We're interested in your answers, and <laughs> I've put the uh, the link uh, in chat as well as in the uh, the info about the show below the video on our Twitch channel. So. Let us know your answer, and we'll pick a winner from that list. But moving on to the new releases of the week. Not a uh, not, not a bad week. Um, Josh, you and I are at a... We have a little bit of a dilemma. Um, as PS3 and Vita owners and big fans of Vanillaware, yeah. what platform are you buying Dragon's Crown on? I am buying Dragon's Crown on the PlayStation Vita. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm so, oh! I'm so torn. What's your rationale? Uh, I'll play it on the Vita, and I won't play it on the PS3. <laughs> His pain I mean, it's just, it's, you know, One is sitting right next to me right now in this little cradle looking at me saying play me play me i'm gorgeous and awesome and then the other one is downstairs under like 10 inches of dust uh i'm not even sure if it's hooked up into the receiver with and i'll have to get it oh i gotta go find an hdmi cable and hope it's up to date well although ps plus does that for me but you know what i'm saying it just it's a hassle yeah uh it's kind of i don't know why this isn't a cross buy game that's kind of my no, I know. that's upsetting Whoa. it would just be man like system system seller um, but I am super excited to play the game. Like reviews have been pretty good so far, uh, and um, I think Aaron has been playing it all day. So I'll be curious to see what he thinks. But I would stream it if I could. But hopefully, I can actually finish this game in the meantime. We're gonna play some. We can play that online as well. Online co-op. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Too bad we can't stream from the Vita. That's really what I want to do. Yeah. I know. I can stream to the Vita, but cannot stream you, from the Vita. You could just mount a camera onto your Vita. It's just the right. It'd be in the way, but you could make a rig so that it was just framed perfectly. <laughs> um, the other, let's see, the other big PS3 release is Tales of Zelia. I'm guessing on the pronunciation there. Uh, Japanese RPG. Everybody's also rushing out to buy Disney's planes <laughs> for the Wii U and 3DS. Yeah. Um, That's oh, great. Oh, game came. Whoa, 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 wait, wait. A game came out for the Wii U. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
A couple of them. Uh, because Are you kidding me? Later this week, yep. Spin the Bottle is out for Wii U. I thought they killed that. I no, thought they killed that on the Wii. No, it's 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 for real. Actually looks really freaking weird. Um, and it's... Oh my god. The thing I like about that game, other than it just being weird and Dutch, is that... Um, <laughs> It can. You, it's made to be played with just the gamepad. You, they want you to turn the TV off. So that's kind of. I like inventive just, uses of the gamepad. So. Well, get a. Get a fucking bottle. No. <laughs> is it? Is this an inventive use of the gamepad, or people being so lazy? That's not even lazy. That's like you're you're like upgrading to something more complicated. You have to go get a fucking Wii U to play. Why don't you just get a bottle, kids? If you want to have. If you want to have sex. Because you're having sex sooner than everybody, but you're doing through Wii U. That's like a middleman. Get the get the Wii U out of there. Grab yourself a bottle. Wii U's in the Actually, way. You know what? Get a full bottle. Make so sure it's they, something alcoholic. Drink it and then spin that shit. Uh, and the gamepad <laughs> kind of limits your options playing this too, because uh, as far as I know, gamepad won't actually fit in any of your holes. Yep. <laughs> absolutely. That's absolutely right. Just saying. We're all adults here. We're all thinking it. <laughs> So you guys will be picking up Spin the Bottle. Will either of you be playing? Yeah, I'm gonna Dra- buy it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> will either of you be playing Dragon Commander? Oh <laughs> man, I, I, I just buy it from the name alone. Yeah, I do too. It has know. nothing to do with the original Divinity. So I know. It no. looks. Uh, it looks like from a distance. You know, I'm like, that's kind of interesting. But then once you get close to it, it's like, oh, you got three nipples. You know what I mean? Total um, Recall, great film. We were talking about that earlier. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna avoid this one. Uh, this, you know what? I don't think you should because if any of us would enjoy this game, I think it would be you. I I don't know what it is though. Like I don't know what it's trying to be. Like it looked like there was some some turn based uh, RTS types elements, and then there was a flying dragon, and then yeah. there was yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you I guess it's naming a bunch of things that sound pretty awesome. <laughs> it looks cool. I have no idea what's going on, but it looks it looks neat, interesting. Yeah, we'll see. Well, now that I know it's out, I'm gonna actually Steam watch a, a gameplay video. Yeah, Steam sale. Yeah, and yeah. see if it's worth worth it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Guacamelee is coming to PC this week. That's a Woo. that is a solid solid game. Finally out of Get, exclusivity. Getting out on the Vita. Yeah, it's pretty good for the Vita. Too. Um. On the 3DS, I don't know much about this, but some people were talking about Steam World Dig, uh, e- just an eShop game, but um, looks pretty pretty interesting. Kind of looks like Spelunky meets Terraria, so I I don't know anything else about it, but hmm. above average eShop release. Is it a Game Loft title? I don't know. <laughs> Super Frog HD for PlayStation Network, as well as Ibn Ob, and I didn't realize that the Summer of Arcade started this week. Uh, Brothers, A oh, Tale wow. of Two Sons is out this week. Uh, what's, a, what's the full list look like on that? Anything exciting? Um, no, this, DuckTales? No, DuckTales oh, isn't shit. in that because it's not exclusive. DuckTales oh, is shit. later. Um, I forget. It's Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Charlie Murder. And oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game, and then I forget what the fourth game is. Another Turtles game. Uh, yeah, it it's looks not pretty- rooftop run, is it? The Endless Runner. No, it's a new one, and it looks it looks bad. So, um, a Beat Buddy for the PC, Guncraft for the PC, uh, Papers Please is out on Steam. Hey, that's yeah. Uh, but Josh that's is awesome. most, most, ex- most excited for Spelunky. Ah, go fuck yourself. (laughs) (laughs) That game sucks. I hate it. It's a piece of crap, uh, but I'll probably get on the Vita. (laughs) (laughs) And then um, Mario and Luigi Dream Team for the 3DS. Apparently, there's a lot of of hours in that game. Is that a... What is... Is that a basketball game? (laughs) It's one of the Mario (laughs) RPG games. Oh. All right. I hear the David Robinson levels are really awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on to the games you're playing, Ethan. What have you been up to? Mm, what ooh, sexy Vita? Sexy? Ooh, sexy snake. Ooh. Oh, look at snake. Hey, hey. You um, thought it was real? It's the Vita. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. audio version that won't play. Um, 
so I have been playing Shadowrun Returns for the last uh, week and a half. Um, and I made the claim to Justin, I think at one point, that I was going to do a review on it. Um, what do you think I'm now? Really, I, <laughs> I want to talk about it, but I don't know if I want to write a review on it because this is a game that is going to hit a, a much smaller demographic than maybe what I was thinking. Um, so it's a, a turn-based strategy game. Uh, it's based on the Shadowrun pen and paper RPG um, from the 80s, uh, was that, who was that, Josh, who, who did that? Uh, wasn't it, was it FASA back then, that, that yeah, originally? Very well. I'm try- I, yeah, the, I, I thought it was the same company that published Battletech, I could be wrong, though, but yeah, it's okay. like, it's, Shadowrun's pretty, pretty old school, uh, yeah. cyberpunk. Yep, and last well, time, well, the, they, they tried to make a game, again, we talked about this a couple weeks back, um, it was a first-person shooter. It was pretty stupid. Uh, and this one is more true to what the pen and paper RPG was about. Um, and actually, what surprised me, which wasn't a bad thing, but we were actually streaming this, and um, it didn't stream well because it's very text-heavy. There's a lot of story going on, and it was and a Ethan pretty slow read. beginning. Um, well, I was having to read out loud to everybody because the text is, you know, for, for me, I could read it quite well, but... It, you know, it's it's quite small for everybody mm-hmm. else, so it was kind of tough. I mean, you're not going to follow what's going on uh, because you, it's still relatively lo-fi in terms of um, the character graphics and kind of the action on screen. Uh, the backgrounds are absolutely beautiful. They're all hand-drawn. It's 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 awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, it it kind of looks weird, though, because the, model, the uh, uh, models of the characters are, are pretty, again, graphically... Not very intensive at all, uh, but again, it doesn't ruin anything. But um, the game is—it's got um, kind of that. I was thinking it was going to be more. They were going to, you know, uh, really water it down and make it more like maybe what Enemy Unknown was, just kind of focus more on the battles. But I, not really at all. Actually, there's a lot more um, story and puzzle solving or light puzzle solving kind of adventure, point and click adventure elements to this game than the actual battles. I think I fought maybe five or six battles in the eight hours I've been playing the game. So again, it's it's different. It's it's It would be tough for me to review it because across the board, I don't think a lot of people are going to like it. I think that um, there'll be people that like played Enemy Unknown or like, oh, another turn-based strategy. It kind of looks like this. And they'll be like, they'll be disappointed because it's just not the same thing. And that's fine. That's not what this game was trying to be. Um, but in terms of the amount of content and the potential for Shadowrun Returns, it's pretty amazing because they've got a... Um, uh, level editor, uh, storyline editor. I mean, people are going to do some awesome stuff with that. And that it came like r- straight up bundled with that. So people are already doing a lot of add-ons to it. And I think down the road, this will be a really cool game. Uh, the the base game, which is uh, the Dead Man Switch, is is pretty interesting storyline. Like, I, I was really into it. Like, at first I was like, ah, it seems pretty generic. But, I mean, it gets twisty and turning pretty quick. So um, if you are into uh, turn-based strategy games, if you're into storylines over action, uh, pick this game up. I, I, I definitely think it's worthwhile. Um, but don't don't get it if you were like, oh, XCOM Enemy I know that was cool. Oh. This looks kind of like it. Because that's you, you, will, you, you will be disappointed. But it's, it doesn't play a lot like the original Fallout. Yes, like some yeah, one, Fallout more one so and two. Like, that's how I would describe yeah. it. Yep, that, that's an the art, best way to know, do it. Like and an for, for anyone that's played, so and and I was talking to somebody about this, and they were like, "Oh, like oh, it's first because and I, I I realize that people don't connect Fallout one and two with Fallout at this point anymore. Like they actually, you have to almost say one and two, and they almost don't even know what one and two is. So uh-huh. you know what I mean? It, but I mean, again, that's a generation that was that's. I mean, that's probably just right before our generation. I mean, if we played, it was because we were you know, huge geeks at the point, you know? I mean, like, again, like, it wasn't, like, the most yeah. popular game for people our age, so, um, but but definitely, it's, it's if you like those games, if you like Fallout 1 and 2, uh, you'll absolutely love this game. Uh, you know, the, uh, the tabletop game is having a little resurgence. Um, I mean, like, so there's, uh, uh, the guy, it's the, what the hell, who is it? It's the same company that's, that's doing Battletech now. Um, I would ask Josh Catalyst, Lee. Catalyst <laughs> Games. Uh, so yeah, Catalyst is uh, is they put out a new edition of the pen and paper game. Um, there's a card game that is either out or coming out. I think there's talk about that being a Gen Con, and then um, I think they're doing some. I think they might have some like accompanying miniatures. Maybe I'm mm-hmm. not. I, that one I may have just made up. But anyways, Shadowrun was used to be like the cool kids played Shadowrun. 
And I just mm, feel like an like, ass because my only exposure to the game is that terrible 360 game. Yeah. The like the first person shooter the, online. The, uh, what the hell was that? It had crossplay. It had PC versus <laughs> 360 crossplay. Oh, yeah. it, it was, was a game for games for Windows Live, wasn't it? Yeah, and it, it, it was. Yeah. You didn't want to play with the PC guys. I tried to. I think I tried to convince Cole Superiority. to get that at one point. It's like, yeah, this is the next. This is our next multiplayer game, man. I, I mean, I was looking at. I was looking one time at a, at like a dozen copies that were like five bucks a piece, and I thought, oh, this would be. I could just like get all these, and then yeah. like I'll get all you guys, and we just get like a game mm-hmm. night together, and um, and I was like, I, eh, nah, <laughs> <laughs> like you know. It's probably not the best if I'm not buying it for five bucks for all my friends. Yeah, I don't feel like I have much of a basis. I didn't play the original Fallouts, um, so I'm not like when I glanced at this, I thought it was, I don't know, I thought it was more like a Dungeons and Dragons type type RPG. So um, I need to pay a little bit more closer attention to this. So, um, <laughs> but it's, I mean, are there? Does it have good buzz? Does it like it? As far as like a Kickstarter success, is it? Yeah, I mean, it had a. It's kind of weird because um, the Kickstarter campaign, I mean, it was successful, so that gave it some buzz. But there's there's enough time in between when the game got kickstarted to it coming out now. Like I, I'm not hearing as many people talk about it um, as maybe I, I thought I would. I haven't seen mm. a whole lot of reviews on it. I haven't really dug in to get the reviews. But in, in my mind, it, it was in my mind because it, I I didn't really know much about Shadowrun until. Um, I looked it up, kind of like kind of researching this game and looking into it because the game itself looked cool, and that's when I figured out, oh, it's you know, RPG and stuff like that. Um, but like I thought people would be more excited for it because I kind of felt like a lot of people were outraged that the Shadow Run that came out on the Xbox was so shitty and it was completely against what the Shadow Run games actually were. But like I don't know, I don't I don't know if the hype is there yet. Um, I don't know if maybe they even need the hype that much because I mean they got the money, you know, the money they needed. Um, but I don't know. I, it's it's kind of weird. It's got, all these Kickstarter games kind of have that weird feeling. And that's what Michael Stern was talking about. It's kind of like you know you do the Kickstarter, you get everyone pumped up, they're excited about it, and then you've got you know a couple months where people <laughs> aren't talking about it anymore, you know, because there's really not any reason and to. And I'm until just an indie developer. Out. I don't have a marketing team to mm. continually well, pump yeah. out information because I need to work on the damn game because you're gonna get pissed because I'm gonna be late because you gave me too much money and yeah. now the game's different and I hope you like it. Yeah, <laughs> but in Hairbrain Games, I don't know how big they are in comparison to, um, uh, which is the, the the group that uh, did this game. But um, I don't know how big they are by comparison. But um, I don't know. It just it's kind of weird. It's kind of it's not like you know people aren't going crazy about stuff. But it's the summertime too. That kind of sucks. I mean, you know, to to release uh, games at this point as well because you know it's hot and everybody wants to be out in sexy bikinis and you know doing that kind of stuff. So put their gel on their bodies and you know. Pouring Avion on their chest after a game of volleyball on the beach. Avion, <laughs> I need you to put some gel on my chest. Avion, <laughs> what else are you uh, playing? Um, I uh, so I did play one of the games that is going to be featured in the giveaway. Mm-hmm. Um, Ultratron. Uh, you actually games. talked about it from Puppy Games. Uh, you puppy. talked about it a few weeks or months back, I think. I played every Puppy's game. Both game. <laughs> Um, except for this one, I haven't. I hadn't played this one. I played it. Man, that's really satisfying. Quick little five to fifteen minute kind of short session game. Uh, you can invest a lot more time into it if you want to. But um, I, I had trouble though distinguishing exactly what was like killing me. Robots. Because, well, outside of the robots, you know, like there was a lot of stuff going on. So I had to get my brain adjusted to being able to see projectiles and there's a lot of color stuff going on and uh if you have um you know light sensitivity or anything like that you know be cautious of this game but no I, all their games are so fucking just solid you know what i mean mm-hmm. like the i love the graphic style um i love that the gameplay is simple um i mean they've got that market down you know yeah. like they've they've <laughs> taken those games and just like yeah we'll just make them a little bit better and you'll love them because those games were solid um or the game you know the derivatives that, you know or the games that these are derivatives of uh, were great and you'll like them now so just yeah you'll whoever wins you're very lucky you're very lucky to experience these games <laughs> i like i like that they they all have a pretty smartly designed uh leveling up system like it doesn't feel like a grind to push through it's more like a reward to level up than mm-hmm. like you're it's it's fun to play without the power-ups so 
Um, so long. But, but Ultratron is that's kind of like the twin stick shooter one, right? The, yeah. Yeah. Like more of a kind of a Robotron type game. Like Robotron? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Josh. I'm so glad you're here. Well, you know, <laughs> just, just saying. Anything else, Ethan? Uh, and today I actually started playing some Fallout New Vegas. Anybody that was on the uh, stream? No, oh, I was. So that yeah, Josh, Josh was there. Um, and I, I, I put about a hundred and ten hours into the into Fallout New Vegas when I was playing it for real. Um, I'm playing it just <laughs> for for some shits and some gigs, and I'm having a really fucking good time with it. Um, I've I've I kind of lost it a little bit on the stream to, to tonight. I'm usually oh a, a nice character. Uh, I'm usually like you know I, I kill people, I kill bad You're people. You're a but monster. Today, I killed. I decapitated. Um, <laughs> by, the time it, by the time the stream was uh, ended, um, I, I was... had stacked a bunch of <laughs> corpses on top of each other in in, in very uh, suggestive positions, <laughs> and I just and to me that was like that felt right. You know, like it, it, was, it, right. it was okay. I gotta know? say, I've never in my life seen so many dead guys blowing each other. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. Oh, and and, and the, the amount of new holes I opened up for those gentlemen was just uh, whoa! It, it blew your mind, absolutely blow, blow your mind. But could you fit game, a Wii U gamepad in there? Oh, you probably could. Okay, I'm if you needed to, I cut some heads off, dude. I cut some. I I opened some wounds. I'm not I'm not shy about saying that. But yeah. um, I I actually got a mod, and it, and it escapes me what that to mod help is, in your it, desecration of bodies. No, actually, that's the thing. I don't remember that. Like, I've been playing Skyrim, and Skyrim doesn't have the um, body damage, you know? And this game yeah. does. And I forgot about that. And You can't chop off not... limbs in Skyrim? I guess I haven't tried. I just shoot everything with arrows. You can chop off heads. Okay. But you, don't, you, don't, you don't do damage to the limbs like you do okay. in this game. Like, in this same game, you can damage, you know, arms, legs, slow them down and whatnot. Um, but, man, they're so satisfying to hack up those bodies at the end of it. But the texture pack that I got... Um, made the game look unbelievable. Like it looks really, really good, and I, I'm I'm in. Like I've been looking for a game to reinvest myself in, uh, and, and not that it's good to go from Skyrim back to Fallout New Vegas say, and back to Skyrim because those games just you know take up all your time. But I mean, I'm having forward, a really good time with it. Look forward to weekly check-ins on New Vegas and Skyrim <laughs> for the next three really months good. on Night Force. There'll be adventure. All the yeah, all the highlights that come through are going to be just me stacking <laughs> corpses, um, which is okay. So I, ha- I had the idea that I was going to collect all the severed heads uh, that, mm-hmm. <laughs> that I got during my you know exploits, my adventures, my journey. Mm-hmm. But it takes way too long to walk with a severed head in your hand. Oh, so. that's you just aren't committed. Come on. Well, I can't believe I know, they don't let don't... you put that in your backpack. That's you'd think. You'd you put think all kinds of other like shit it. that shouldn't fit. You know, there's a toaster a in my backpack. Most of those arm. heads are about the size of a toaster. Yeah, and I could just. There's got to be a mod for that. I'll look for that. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some mod uh, research this weekend and then see what we what, do. Uh, what you need is just like a mod. You just need like a spell. I know there's. I don't think there's magic in Fallout, right? But you just need like no. a spell that just rains down body parts from the Ooh. sky, just like hundreds of thousands, and uh, like it does damage. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, that would be pretty sweet. <laughs> Let's do that. Anything else stand out from that. New Vegas? I um, you started over. Yeah, how did, yeah, how, completely. How, I, I'm just not taking it as seriously as I did with the other thing. Like, I'm having fun. I'm looking around. I'm goofing off, and it, 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 I'm having a lot of fun because I was such a completionist in the first game. I had to get every quest and make sure I did everything right. Um, and I and I found myself restarting one time, and I was like, no, fuck that. Like, I'm not gonna. I, I can't let these games control my life. I control these games, and you guys should too. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Are you still playing FTL? Uh, yeah, I had to take a break. Okay, <laughs> I wrote about that last week. I played, I played a little bit of FTL before the show started, just to kind of get everybody's juices flowing. Again, I need to sure thought about space, that. Space, space juices. Get your space juices flowing. But I really do have to step away from that game because there is something about that goddamn game that just. I, I always say, oh, there's no way I'll play very long because I'm kind of tired of playing. I'm never tired of playing that game. It's it's always a new. And interesting challenge. Um, oh, such a great game! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, DLC, right? No, we always nope. talk. I always bring this up, and nope. I know you <laughs> and do. I always spark a little bit of hope that then just like fizzles out, and 
It just makes people even more depressed. It's bad. Well, and some somebody research is there is there a sequel coming out? I don't think there is. I, I feel like they said we're not making a sequel. Um, but look that up. Find it. Let's no, the guys that made it actually were in a plane crash. What? No, I'm just that's a lie oh, too. God damn it! God, I would be I would be upset <laughs> not because you know some young lives are cut short, but because I wasn't gonna be able to play it. <laughs> right. And that's awful. Oh, you know what though? They do have merchandise in their store now, which is great. Uh, yeah. They've got a Kestrel hoodie and stuff like that, and there's a Lego uh, yeah. oh, FTL yes. ship too, and it's on the that the actual Lego um, user submission site. You know so what you I would vote want. for that. That, but also some mini figs of the different races in that game. Uh, actually. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They got them. Yeah, it's in the Twitch chat right now. Bam. So yeah, go check that out. You just uh, you're just gonna you're gonna pop some real space wood. Space. Are you kidding me? Right now, yeah. <laughs> where's the mantis? Oh, where's the mantis? Does not get Ethan's seal of approval. Wait, what? Uh, well, just no it, mantis, it, it, man. Well, just go to the page. Damn it! There's all I, kinds I of stuff. They got a big That's ass. They cool. got a they got a mantis. Just, just damn it! Everyone, just go. This is all. This is this is <laughs> awful. I hope everyone listening is doing it too. Otherwise, this is probably really fucking annoying. Yeah, maybe I all should right. put those in the notes. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, Josh, go check it out. FTL. Josh, have you been playing any video games? No. Okay. Well, thanks for coming on the show. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah no, no, I have a little bit. Just not, not as much as normal. But the good thing is I can store up the last like three months worth of gaming yeah. and put it on the one show. Uh, yeah, I just haven't had as much time to, to play. And when I have had some time, I've done other stuff. Uh, I understand. It's been... It's been kind of a nice break just to not have to... I don't think about it too much. There's times when I want to play a game and I end up not playing a game because I can't decide. I'm like, I don't play games in so long. What do I do? I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to play. And I just can't... And I can't play. Um, but when I do play games, okay. I play <laughs> Shut <up>. Marvel Heroes. <laughs> ooh. Ooh. Did you, did you happen Still to... Still playing it. Did you happen to read our friend Ethan's review of this game? Who Ethan Moses wrote a review? Yeah, post a link for me. I'll read it while, during while I'm talking. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'm still. Kylie and I are still playing together. I don't really play much solo. Um, a little bit, but normally we're just it's our it's our date night game. Um, and yeah, still enjoying it. I love the changes they're making constantly. They're constantly adding new stuff, making it's it's uh it's getting better with every patch and. Not just from, I mean, they keep adding new content and like new in-game stuff. They've added a bunch of that. They've added uh, new items, and they've, they're adding more heroes. They just added Human Torch, but there's more on the way. Uh, I'm waiting for Luke Cage. He's he's street tough, <laughs> and uh, but then but they're just doing all these like really cool balancing changes. They're changing people's powers around. They're completely changing the way characters play, which is um, which is great because some of them were just kind of okay, and then they got like really awesome. Uh, I played a Wolverine, and he just he went from, yeah, Wolverine's pretty tough to like, oh shit, he's, he's like twice as fast, and he regenerates even fa- like super fast too. So, uh, you just can't like, just can't kill him, and he just cuts you up. Like, yeah, that's kind of how it's supposed to be, <laughs> you know. So I know I've I've gushed about the game before. I won't I won't talk about it too much more, but um, I, I still think it's it's pretty awesome, and the best change they've made. And if this was really like if the free to play part of it was putting you off before, and it you know, understandably, um, you know, like because you you had uh, five starter heroes to choose from, and there's a good mm-hmm. chance that one of those was not your favorite character. <laughs> like you do not get to start out for free with Iron Man or Spider Man or what Hulk. Uh, and before the only way to get them was just pray to the random number gods that you were going to get a drop, and that yeah. was not going to happen. It kind of turned out to even they kept increasing the odds and it's still just people were just like super pissed like i don't get any heroes of costumes <laughs> and they had a they had Larry a hot sale yeah but they just added a way to uh they, they added a new thing that drops like a new kind of currency that drops from any <laughs> like any bad guys and you use that to go to a special shop and you can buy uh, all the heroes in there. 
So hero uh, cash. Yeah, so that's that's great. Costumes are still pay or drop, but all the heroes are available for free by earning, you know, in-game uh, hero books, Marvel books, X bucks. Mm. <laughs> Why didn't Microsoft use that? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? You should go work for them. X bucks. <laughs> Ethan, uh, you have any constructive questions now that you're? I'm kind of curious because you were a little bit indifferent to the yeah. Marvel heroes, uh, you know. But I, I think that you know, I think there was very little they could do. Um, the pricing, I did have, I did have issue with. Um, yeah. But I think I, outside of that, I mean, I'm not a huge Marvel fan, uh, just enough, but not enough that I got so excited that I was wanting to play another action RPG. I mean, at this point, so I mean, I get like, I think it's cool. Like th- yeah. they get it. Like I've read a lot of news about the game up to this point. Cause I'm kind of, I'm still looking at it. Like I'm still like kind of glancing at it. But, like, okay, whatever. Um, but it, I, it's just not, it's not for me, you know, it's not for me. And that's okay. I think, you know, yeah, I, need to, yeah, yeah, whatever. I need to move on, find a new genre and go from there. And it's like, know? I mean, I, I just like, uh, comic books so much that I'll yeah. take it any way I can get it. And this happens to be that I also enjoy playing this game. Yeah. And, and and again, it is it, it is improving constantly. So yeah. uh, and play a co-op with people you know, or um, even better, your significant other. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it didn't. It's great. It didn't okay. hook me, but it didn't. It wasn't wasn't bad, but maybe. Oh yeah, I, just... I wasn't offended. I mean, if it would have been Resident Evil characters, I I probably would have had more enjoyment out of it. I think there's a lot to be said for. <laughs> That'd be for sure. Like you know, like like you know, but like kind of. If you're a fan of something, you're gonna give it um, more attention, regardless. And mm-hmm. it's a solid enough game that that's enough to take it from. It's not like it's a it's a five, and you know the fan service gives it a right. you know boost it up. I mean, it's it was still a good game. It just you know wasn't what you know my penis wanted at the point. At that yeah. Point, you know? <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't have you didn't have that Marvel fever. And that's so, okay. uh, and then also, uh, let's see what else I've been playing. Oh, uh, so I'm, I'm also it's speaking. I've got like three games on this list that are games I used to play, and now I'm getting back into or whatever. So uh, let's talk about Defiance for a second. Can we okay. do that? Okay. That's oh. yeah. Okay. So uh, that game uh-huh. doesn't really do anything like very compelling as far as trying to bring <laughs> you back to it. Uh-huh. Uh huh. However, it has great um, vehicle physics. Mm-hmm. And by great, I mean really bad and exploitable, which is fun. <laughs> and uh, a lot of ramping going on. A lot of turbo, a lot of running over bad guys, a lot of jamming it into things it shouldn't go into. A lot of going over stuff it shouldn't go over. <laughs> uh, I go up every staircase I see in a truck or car. Um, it has trucks now. and uh, But it's the thing, it's like the story stuff, it just blows. It's none of it's really good. No, you know, like I hate most of the characters. But the action is really fun. I like shooting shit in that game. It's fun to shoot stuff, and it's easy to shoot stuff. You get in, and you're shooting stuff. There's like not really many layers of bullshit between you and sh- the shooting. So that's fun. I like that part of it. But that's the game. Yeah, that's me. Whatever. Uh, the show. I got this when the season ended. I was, I was crying. I, I was upset. <laughs> I fucking love that show now. It's awesome. When did that happen? Like episode seven? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was <laughs> you know it was like halfway through the season. I I just started to I started to realize that like God, what am I? I'm looking forward to this every week. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with me? Piece of shit sci-fi show, you know? And oh, Grant Bowler, this this leading man. He's what a what a chump, you know? And nope, I love that guy. He's the best. I love the aliens. The story I like. Um, uh, what's oh huh. my god? What's his what's his what's his name? The uh, the al- the white like skinned alien guy. Um, sure. I damn no it! Idea. I can't remember any names right now. But the <laughs> like the main Steve? kind of antagonist. <laughs> yeah, Steve. <laughs> uh, somebody in the Evil chat Steve. will say Evil but <clears throat> like all like the characters are pretty good and the, and the stories are just are fine. You know they move things along okay, but. Uh, that world, everything about I just I love that. I really enjoying this show. I think it's pretty well written and huh. Um, huh. yeah, when the season ended I just want I just wanted more. I'm really looking forward to season two. So yeah, I'm so that was kinda weird. 
Did you so, ever find uh, like the show content tie-ins in the game, or did you stop caring? No, I two times since last time we talked, I tried <laughs> to find the content again, and I couldn't. Except, I will say this: the very last time I played, very recently, um, I was driving in my car and I was in the middle of some serious ramping and so I couldn't stop to investigate whatever this the chick was saying to me but the lady the doctor lady from the show mm-hmm. uh, the endogene lady she was talking to me about something and she was talking about defiance and that she needed me to get something for her but I just I just couldn't stop ramping <laughs> so I have no idea I don't know what they needed and I didn't get it so so that huh. might have been more store, uh, uh, show stuff. But they said a couple weeks back, or whenever the show, was, the last uh, episode was getting ready to air, they were putting all of the season episodes back in. Because, you know, they okay. take them out each week. So that uh, yeah. Day Taktar, that's the guy. I love that guy. <laughs> uh, Tony Curran is the guy's name, I think. He's he's awesome. Uh, I think he was in Braveheart or something like that. No, really? 13th, 13th Warrior, I think. Okay. Oh, shit. Maybe. Maybe. Nah, I don't know. Some medieval Just show with a sword. Fun. He had a sword or a bow or something in a movie that had some <laughs> that didn't have guns. That, you know, there's only like two or three that could fit. Yeah, that. yeah. So yeah, I, I got. I'm gonna give the show a shot. I've a heard. Thing. I've heard multiple people say it's it's better than I think. So yeah, I want something to get me back into that game. I don't know. Yeah. I was like pretty excited for that game and then I like rooting for that game I do <laughs> I too but, but I, just I got into it and, and I yeah, tried to play it again and it took me 45 minutes I was like I, I think I've done you what streamed I it with. maybe like six weeks ago yeah. and just like we, there was just nobody in the game the and, light in my eye just like drained yeah. away and I was like I'm not very happy right now so um, yeah I could never get in the, 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 the co-op things were pretty weak I could never get in the multiplayer games I really struggled to do that so uh, it's about, I, just, I, I had so much fun just running around with you fucking Dave yeah. and Brass kicking ass it's one of those games you have to play with somebody else like and, and not like a Borderlands 2 or Torchlight 2 where you can you can play by yourself and it's okay, but it's better with other people. Like you have to play Defiance with other people. You have to. There's no way around. Dude, your 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 uh, brotabulous of that with two yeah. of us and Dave popping off some shades, brass like <laughs> rolling into the combat to save my ass. Like that was like those that was like my favorite thing that you yeah. did that also well, involved me in a way. <laughs> We should all play again. Anybody, anybody that wants to play, let's play. Get, contact us. Uh, yeah, yeah it's a, I mean, yep. I'd jump on if we got like six people in there, four or six people. It'd be. Yeah. Well, sit down, dude. You got some high, <laughs> high standards. I was thinking like two, three, I'd be okay with it, but six, seven, like if we had a solid party of 12, like that'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else you got, Josh? Okay, so. Uh, so I started playing Mag Runner. You guys know what this is? Uh, e- e- yes, I think so. It was, I think it's an early release game, and that's why it fell off my radar. But um, yes, shit, shit. I was trying to give the description. Go ahead, though. Uh, uh oh, it's it's, it's it's yeah, H.P. Lovecraft meets yeah, uh, Lovecraft. fucking yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's the. Th- it, it's too bad that there's not a way to like that there that this wasn't like that side of the game wasn't like somehow secret before everyone played like they put they put some of that stuff up front like on on the on steam you can see uh you know you'll see like here's the friggin screenshots of like some of the weird shit you know mm-hmm. what i mean like it's it kind of sucks because and first of all the game itself like the gameplay is uh it's it's kind of portal like. There's no portals, so that I know that sounds weird, but uh, you have a gun on, and you left click and right click shoot two different like colored things. But it's actually you magnetizing shit. So you're um, you just you'll take objects or platforms or whatever and make them one of two polarities, and they'll either draw towards each other, or push away, and that's how you do all these cool puzzles. And and is that actually the the level design so far is really awesome, and and it looks nice. It, it's like really, it's like colorful portal environment. It's very much you could tell. Obviously, there's like a lot of uh, inspiration drawn from there. But then there's all this, but then and like and you're going through this game, and it's like if it was just just that, it'd be okay. But it'd just be like meh. But then it's got all this other 
really weird shit, and I haven't gotten deep into it, but it's just starting to, like, get weird. Shit's getting weird. Yeah, I've been thinking about doing a Game Curious of that, but, like, kind of hit that wall with, mm -hmm. when do you do the previews or the reviews of these early access games? So I was yeah. letting it, get a, letting it yeah. get a little bit more meat on its bones, but I'm really curious to check it out. Yeah, um, yeah. And, and uh, yeah, and it, it, I think if you buy, like, I think you can, like, save a couple bucks if you buy, like, the Euro version or something, and, you know... I don't have any shame doing that, by the way. If you got to, if you got to save money by buying from different regions, people so, like been doing this all the time in Australia and shit. You know what? We all do it. Just saying. So, if you get past the like badass concept of this, like how does it play? Is it? I mean, is it fun? Is it? Yeah, yeah, okay. it's cool. I, like it, it controls well. It's it's uh, some of the puzzles are just really neat. Like you, you'll actually. Uh, you know, have to use your head a little bit. Some of the <laughs> some of the puzzles were like you know kind of simple, but then I I, I was my br those parts of my brain the the portal and portal two were were just you know starting to make work for the first time in probably ever. <laughs> uh, th those were reactivated by this game. Cool. Um, so you kind of got to use your noodle a little bit, and and sometimes you get like a cool setup where like some fun stuff kind of happens, a good sequence happens of of kind of puzzly stuff. But but really like again you you'll. Same part of your brain that that Portal uses, this game uses, and it cool. just also happens to have like this other like really weird shit going on. Um, so so that that's that's pretty pretty interesting. I mean, I I played a little bit of Portal two this weekend, um, but yeah, there's just not very many games that trigger that part of your brain. So it's, yeah. it's kind of kind of fun to jump in like, that way. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, and um, and I'm also I I've played with um, our buddy uh, Travis. Uh, we we played some stuff with him before. I think on some streams, Planet Side and whatnot. Um, I played some MechWarrior online with him um, a couple weeks back, and we just we actually played a couple nights in a row, and got some uh, just blew up some robots. You know, some mechs like that. That game has gotten really good. They've added a ton of mechs. They've added a bunch of maps. They've added a game mode. Uh, like that's just one of you know free to play game, but they keep adding all this stuff, and I haven't really spent any money, you know, and I and I'm yeah. getting the stuff I want to get, and that game has just the biggest stompiest mechs. Like it's slower, <laughs> you know, like it's it's so great. It just it feels like BattleTech, you know, to me. That's what when I play the tabletop game, this is what I picture is this game, and it's got like the, the sounds are so good. Just hearing the actuators when the when it's like before the battle when your mechs just just walking and it makes that and it's so deep like it's so good this is one i just want to bite those sounds want to spine they're so juicy love it <laughs> there, i mean um, we kind of had like a little bit of a, a mech flood uh towards the end of last year and it just yeah. they never really landed very hard i mean hawkins yeah. still kind of sitting out there i forget what the third one was um uh, what was it hawkin War World. I mean, titan falls um, oh no, it was Mech for, Warrior it, Tactics was coming out. Uh, Battlefield Twenty One Forty Two. I think what you're. That's what you're thinking. <laughs> no, no. Um, Robot was, Jocks, the Facebook game. <laughs> Shogo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Um, one of these? Rad. Robotic Alchemic Drive. Is that? Or wait, which one of these was it? Is it any of those? No. Let's we'll see how far you can. Armor go. Core. <laughs> no. Oh, Front Mission. The new Front Mission game. No. It was from the makers of that the Xbox Mech games. They're working on something. That was it. But yeah. I don't remember the name of that. Oh yeah, Chrome Hounds. Chrome Hounds Two. <laughs> is that what it was? <laughs> no, no. I, but I, yeah, I kind of forgot that this game was still out there because, um, I mean, I don't know. You didn't seem super stoked about it. Like you're you're you were really into Planet Side when it, it kind of came out, but maybe it was just. You knew your audience too. That I think I was pretty high on it. Okay. And, we, and we did a we did a yeah game we did the... on it and all and all that. And I I think I had a poor showing there, but that doesn't mean I wasn't I think, really. Excited I think about I need it. To, I think I need to try it out. I think I need to get in there because I, I got a I got a machine that can handle it now. That a machine that is worth stomping around on. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, I'll have to check in check in on that. I would give a a, a body part for. A new Chrome Hounds, though, because I, I just I never got in on that when it was you know when it was fresh, before everybody was the the best at it. So that would be pretty cool to if that happened. That was from software though, so they're doing they're doing hardcore uh, medieval hack and slash games now. <laughs> did you um, um 
Did you ever play the tactics, the MechWarrior tactics beta? Yeah. How was that? Yeah. Um, back when I was playing it, it was closed beta, so okay. I couldn't talk about it on the shows. But since then, yeah, it's uh, it, it launched a, a little early. Yeah. So uh, you know, it was, uh, and I've from the last time uh, I played it to for th- uh, from the beginning till till the last time I played it, it was it was pretty different. Like it was crashing a lot, all that kind of stuff. I, mean, I don't usually play games when they're that early, and I just didn't know. But um, it's gotten better. But and I think once it's like another few months, it'll probably be worth checking out. Like, just don't don't go in there maybe just yet. But okay, that's going to be the closest to like a. Uh, uh, yeah, I showed I showed the you know like, trailer like to Mech some, Commander that would be closer to that. I showed the, showed the trailer to some guy at work that used to be really into the tabletop game, and his wife had to make him stop playing, and he was really upset at me for showing him that game. So I might have ruined a marriage by showing a trailer. So. Yeah, that happens everybody. Mm, yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Anything yeah. else you, you want to shout out, Josh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I uh, I gotta I gotta apologize to Ethan because I played an iOS game and I had fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm real sorry, sorry, dude. Uh, I played ridiculous fishing. It's awesome. Oh, but everybody had fun with that, though. I mean, that's that's <laughs> what. Well, you're being nice. Um, yeah, it's yeah. Uh, so yeah, I got a. I got an iPhone 5, and it was just you know one of those things where I I can't remember what I was doing, but I was just I needed a video game real bad, and this is all I had at the time. And I went, oh, App Store, ooh, and it just felt so dirty because I talked so much shit about it for so long, and all I could think of was Ethan, and I just wanted to say so I wanted to say I'm sorry to him. I want to text him, but you know I can't text him. And uh, <laughs> it'll be yeah. so expensive. Don't do it. Yeah, I know. It'd be like eight bucks, almost worth it. But uh, man, that game's fun. That's just a fun little game. Like, just crazy and awesome. Just the idea. Like, I wish I was that smart and creative, just to think like, let's do a fishing game, and you throw <laughs> the thing in the water, and then you tilt it, and you got to dodge as many fish as possible. It goes as deep as you can, and then on the way back, it's like. This little puzzle game, and then it gets in the air, and it's just like, now let's just fucking waste all these fish with a Uzi. <laughs> like, yeah! And it's got these cool little upgrades, and the little fake Twitter thing in the game is hilarious. It's brilliant, yeah. That's really funny. It's it's well written, and you know, you got a little shop, and you got the little fit. There's weirdest descriptions of the fish in the little uh, <laughs> uh, fishery. What the fuck? What's it called? The fish, Fishopedia? Um,. Uh, yeah, what a brilliant little game! And an update just came out. They added, I think, some more hats and some more they, fish. And they, I think, they allowed hats, you to like, like re- reel it back in like quickly if you started off like poorly, like if you passed a fish. So you can, you don't have to go through mm-hmm. the full run if you miss what you're actually going for. Yeah, they, I, I want to say they added some guns or something. Yeah, something more to the guns. But that game is just fun. It is just yep. It's it's fun. I actually like the only thing I the only knock I had against it was playing it on the bigger iPad. Yeah, that, that thing is just it's a it's way too big to do the motion control. Like I was like I I want to buy a seven inch iPad. How big of an iPad do you have? Like <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it keeps growing. <laughs> Thirty two inch iPad. Um, wait, hang on. Oh wait, here I've got one. I can show you what it looks like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty cool stand. Oh, Did you get that, where'd you get that stand? Is that official from the Apple Store? Uh, Brookstone. <laughs> 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 but no, I, I I was just thinking like the the iPad Mini might be perfect for those because I don't know the the phone would be too small. Um, but uh, yeah, I felt re- just feel ridiculous tilting tilting the. The, that, maybe that's the point, right? <laughs> right, ridiculous fishing. I get it. No, Ky- thought- Kylie was playing it on the iPad because she's been playing a bunch of games on it, and I was trying to find her new games while she was waiting to get new Candy Crush Saga lives. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, we got oh yes. It? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, Take a man. shot for Jordan. Yeah. Oh, boy. He was with it. It's, they got Jordan, it's too? Rough. Yeah, it's No, rough. he was he was pretty depressed on the other pot. Uh, a podcast a couple weeks ago that one of his coworkers started playing that game. So yeah, he just, my dad and his girlfriend started playing yeah. it. Uh, I think most yeah. people in my Facebook. wife crush. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it's awful. Yeah, I'll see her, and I hope she's not listening. 
Um, I'll I'll talk quieter as if that somehow is going to help. Um, she's <laughs> she plays it on multiple devices just, because you get lives separately on each one, and so I she can worry like, oh, I'm out of lives. I gotta run to the computer and do it. What is the game? I don't know what the game is. It's, I'm kind it's of just like it, it's just like a, a a little bit fancier bejeweled. It doesn't even look as nice, really. Like one of the candies looks like a old timey hot dog. It's really weird. What? Uh, but it, it's a puzzle game. <laughs> it's just a puzzle game, but you've got goals and there's a lot of just kind of special pieces and stuff. And I feel it's like just, we've given it too it's much a match, time. It's a match three. Match three. Anyway, so yeah, so she was playing Rika's uh, fishing and on the iPad, and it was just too. It was I'm just too damn big. I'm uncomfortable. Yeah, that's not a good thing. Sorry, it's... sorry, but it's uh, then I put Peggle on there. Okay, I like Peggle. Yeah. Peggle 2, yeah, where the fuck is that? Thank God yeah. for Peggle. Where's Peggle 2? <laughs> Peggle 2! I just think of the gif from... Uh, Did you see their trailer? No. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah. I'll is have to I'll post it in the chat. Oh, you have no idea. I mean, it's... it's, Yeah, it's pretty It's pretty awesome. Uh, I'm, here, I'm, I'm glad EA is letting them... we put it on the stream? <laughs> no, uh, which I had that There's no way to do that? Damn it. Uh, I gotta steal that software from you to be able to do that. So Okay. <laughs> uh, is that is that pop cap peggle's pop cap isn't it yeah i was yep. just gonna say i like so the did they EAs. turn peggle 2 into a third person shooter <laughs> Peg- <laughs> peggle 2 you know what that, whatever didn't we talk about how fun that game that was? looked fun the I'm pbz okay with, yeah garden warfare garden warfare looks fun it looked cute yeah. and fun yeah i, I don't think it will be though no, I don't we'll think it will be either, but it looks fun. We'll throw another prediction night. It looks it's, fun. Yeah, I don't think it's fun. I'm totally listen, okay with it. Listen, be... it's late. You're tired. You're you're not drinking beer. And <laughs> you've been away from America for too goddamn long. So <laughs> you that energy are level not up, qualified Ethan. to on. talk about this game right now. I Oh, dude. I'm, the pegs of my, war. <laughs> my, my predictions like have been quite, uh, quite on, on spot as of late. So I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'm, hey, we'll see. We'll see. I hope you're wrong. I do too. I oh, I love being I love being wrong. That's the best part of it. I'm either right or I like the fact that I'm wrong. That's a good thing. So yeah. What else, Josh? Uh, eh, that's about it. Oh, I'm replaying Symphony of the Night on the Vita, which is fantastic. I, I don't know if oh, I man. talked about my Vita, but I got a Vita, and it's really great. <laughs> I love it so much, and oh, it's cool. just it just looks so good, and I love the. I love the D-pad on it. It just does exactly what I wanted to. I was my Soul Steel works every time. So does Dark Metamorphosis. You know mm. all those. <laughs> Dark Metamorphosis. Dark <laughs> Metamorphosis. Uh, so I'm, yeah, I'm playing the version that's inside uh, the Dracula X Chronicles. <laughs> because I'm an idiot and I bought both. <laughs> no, yeah, uh, you yeah, big cr- dummy. <laughs> I bought the Chronicles and forgot that you could unlock Symphony Night, so I bought Symphony Night separately. But yeah. But the man, uh, those yeah, save and, states, those save states and, on the Vita make it you just pick up and play as much. I as you know want. it's Clear so down. good, it's so good. And then I can have like a, a, a sometimes I still have to wa- go to a walk through for certain parts in that game. I get stuck and I'm like, where the fuck am I going? And I so I, I used to have a little browser on the Vita and I just swipe to it and there's the oh I gotta go here and then swipe back and boop I'm playing. It's like multi tap <laughs> on a handheld. What? No, yeah. I can't do that. It's yeah, it's really guys. Neat. Guys, mobile gaming. It's, wow. it's, it's back. It's Can't do it. that on a 3ds. Hey, don't don't dis my. Or can an, you? Don't dis my <laughs> Animal Crossing operating I've system. I've got one. I've I've got one. You don't, don't have I'm Animal gonna, Crossing. S- uh, soon, soon I'm gonna dig into Persona 4 Golden, and that's gonna be something else. I'm gonna get Kawaii as <laughs> shit. I think. No, that's not really that kind of game. Um, but I will be. I will be uh, looking up skirts once I start playing that. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I'll be hanging out at high schools and just trying to get a peek. <laughs> Persona. That's what it does to you. That's what I heard Cole told me that. Cole Monroe. Man, I thought we were. I thought we were on our way to like a positive marketing campaign for the Vita. You may have. What's wrong with that? That's gonna. That would. That's a system seller. <laughs> panties. Panties. <laughs> high school panties. Distancing, my, distancing myself from this conversation. Uh, by talking about, t- they're eighteen. They're all seniors getting ready to graduate. Yeah. One of the uh, uh, sicko. Incentive, the, one of the pre-order incentives was it would actually come wrapped in two different pairs of panties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, worn by developers. Yep, <laughs> grown um, men. <laughs> <laughs> so I found myself going through 
my game library looking for, hey, which of my old favorite games now have trading card support? Um, and that's kind of how I ended up with uh, playing Portal 2 this weekend. Um, but I just wanted to hit that up because I realized I just kind of blew through that game in two sittings and don't really remember any of it. And actually, like, you know, kind of taking my time and appreciating the jokes. Uh, it was really... I don't know. I, I think, Josh, you, you've kind of said you haven't been playing games as much recently. Yeah. And I've just really struggled at about, like... When I'm not streaming and I'm just looking for a game to just kind of relax and play, I don't really know what to play. And I've found, like, I want to turn my brain off or, like, I don't really want to do the, you know, the the action games, like, really late at night anymore. Like, I'm just kind of going away from that a little bit. And, um, I don't know, when I was playing Portal yeah. 2, it was just, like, the most relaxing experience I've had in a long time playing video <laughs> That's games. That's great. And uh, but yeah, that game's still uh, pretty pretty good. It's pretty witty. I don't know if you knew that. It's pretty uh, pretty funny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but witty? yeah, witty. It's never got witty. through one. Never got through one. Should and know. yeah, and and those damn trading cards. I haven't talked to you about it yet, Josh. So I want to know how stupid you think they are. But the fact that they don't <laughs> require any skill to to get any of them. You just play the game or leave. Well. The rule is you can't leave it on. That's Coop and I have made a pact. There is no spending actual money on trading cards, and you can't cheat by just leaving the game all running to get the trading cards. Right. But, um, but yeah, I I, somebody had a script though. Somebody had a. <laughs> yeah, there are people working on that immediately. Oh man, gonna screw up their 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 marketplace. Um, but yeah, uh, so that was one of the first games with trading card support, and then. Um, but you'll be happy to know, like, I... Well, I don't think you'll actually give a shit, but I did... I did <laughs> this I did, is going to be right up your alley. Yay. <laughs> You're going to really enjoy what I'm about to say. But in my, in my like, search, just looking through all the games that I bought um, since my PC upgrade, finally games I hadn't played, I went back and played some, some Hell Yeah, Wrath of the Dead Rabbit, <laughs> um, which doesn't have trading card support, so I don't know why I was playing it. What? But, Dumbass. But I hadn't really played it much since we did the game Curious video, and I still got a I still get a pretty big kick out of out of those that game. Those boss fights, yeah, just the those the boss fights and the great. those random warrior warrior wear esque mini games that it throws at you to kill the kill the dudes. I completely yeah, forgot was, about it. It was awesome. Yeah, I could, I didn't play it either after at, after that point, but <laughs> I just I enjoyed what I watched of the game very much so, and I would have watched it again. I don't necessarily want to play it. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I, 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 I just remember really. I remember liking it, but I couldn't remember what that hook was. I complete, totally just forgot about those little yeah. looks great. Games. Yeah, it great was looking. It in good. a circle, right? Yeah. Wasn't it? It was spun and it cut things. And, That's, and, yeah. and, and more and hook. It's in hell. Yeah. And you can make the circle into a donut. Mm. And you can wear funny hats. Mm. Yeah, and all because somebody took his picture of him with his ducky and put it on Facebook. So Yeah, the donut. Yeah. yeah Verdian Rivers. Yeah, this th that game and like Dust, uh there's been some others. I kind of unfortunately Rayman, which I'm going to go back to Rayman Origins, but all these like really nice looking like 2D mm -hmm. 2D art games, they uh like I thought I wanted of all of these. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But Turns I think out. It's not the art style is great, but that was only half of it, and the other half just for me just I realized like oh crap, all those games I liked, it was it wasn't because they looked the way they looked, it was because they played the way they played. I know that seems like really like duh, you know, it's stupid, <laughs> but but sometimes the nostalgia gets me, and I'll just buy a game because it looks really cool. Like oh I've, yeah, it's a beat 'em up. I'm gonna buy that because I love beat 'em ups. Uh, I think Dragon's Crown will be different because that's a deep. That's actually I like the gameplay of the D and D arcade games, so mm -hmm. I think I'll like that. But um, yeah, just this revival. You know, there's been a great revival, and I'm glad that art that kind of art style is alive and it's not just pixel art. You know, yeah, yeah. And I like that. There's hey, so here's some nice looking and 2D. When, Hand yeah, when, stuff. And when Hell Yeah came out, it was different because they, you know, they tried to do some. It wasn't just pixel graphics. It, they were going the the retro style with it. They're they're yeah. making a nice looking downloadable game, and mm -hmm. um, I mean it, the art style is fantastic. So yeah, um, which 
kind of made me laugh because I think I was trying to play Dust, but I just I just haven't hit, hit start on that since it's been on PC. So yeah, yeah. Um, I I couldn't get into it. I mean, I played a little into bit Dust. on the stream, yeah, to on, on the it's, fourth live stream, but it just it's uh it's a I'm slow sure start. It's, it's a slow yeah. start, uh, yeah. but that story that story will get you eventually. It just yeah. I did not like the first three hours of that game, <laughs> so... Oh, see, um, that's tough, man. I, I can do an, a lot to push an hour at most. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That's a, that's one tough. hour, and that's, to me, sometimes that's pushing it for me. Yeah, yeah. that really is. I'm going to say mean, <laughs> 47 minutes is my limit. <laughs> yeah. R- respect for the developer only gets you so far. <laughs> mm, right. Uh, speaking of which, I played Cloudberry Kingdom yesterday. I'm going to write a Game Curious review of it um, here is this that? week. I don't know. <laughs> like I kept thinking. The more I thought about it, like I had fun. It's a platformer, so it's a it's a platformer where they developed an algorithm to randomly generate generate levels that are like inspired by Mario, basically. But they're really short, like levels that you can jump through in about ten or twelve seconds. But the like the obstacles that they put in the way, like you know, um, like fire bars and just like you know, dangling spiky balls and and all, all that kind of stuff. They they, it just ramps up as you go get higher and, and higher um, mm. in the levels. It just it tries to make it like a marathon. Like things didn't really ramp up for me until I got to about level fifty. So it's a really really slow burn at first. Um, from about fifty on, it starts becoming like just a pretty difficult platformer. And I was having fun with it, but you guys know I enjoy challenging games like that probably to a fault. Um, and then I started thinking about if I didn't know if yes. this game was like kind of a technical marvel in that he's developed this really cool way to generate all these these infinite levels. If you didn't know that about the game, I think it's kind of boring. So well, that means the game is boring no matter what. It just means that you appreciate certain technical aspects of yeah, it. That, that does yeah. not make a game more fun. I was going to say this respect for things outside actual gameplay gets me all the time too and you kind of feel bad about kind yeah. of like being too critical about it but I mean again at the end of the day like that may be a step in a, a good direction but the you know initial step itself isn't really quite worth it um, I mean let's see let me double check the pricing here but like it's got a lot of different game modes it's got some local um, co-op and like a couple different modes there and different ways to run through the level um, let's see here. If you told me that a quadriplegic, homeless eight-year-old made a shitty endless runner game, you know, for fucking Nokia phones, I wouldn't be like, you know, I mean, I, I, re- I really want to, you know, I just really want to like this. I'd just be like, this, why, no, what, this, the game sucks. No, why? No, it doesn't, it's not bad, it's just kind of, it's, it's boring. Do, you said Calabria Kingdom blows <laughs> but i respect what the developer was trying to do ten those bu- are ten your bucks. words from it's your mouth bucks. seconds ago <sighs> yeah because here's the thing like it i saw trailers for it at e3 and completely skipped over it i heard yeah. one guy say he's developed an ag- algorithm that will randomly generate levels infinitely and i was like oh i want to play that game so that's that's where i was coming from with that um yeah, yeah. That's cool. It sounds yeah. like a like a ice cream flavor or something, though. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. It sounds it's delicious. A little, a little too too on the nose with its Mushroom Kingdom parody too. So, uh, what else? Oh, I don't find... that's what they're. <laughs> Glad I connected those dot those obvious <laughs> dots for you once again. <laughs> it's like Robotron, Josh. Isn't that um, on Vita? <laughs> yeah, it is. It's on, Vita. It's on everything. So. Um, I also played a little bit of Castle Storm. This is from... played that last week. Uh, it's from the Zen uh, Studios, the pinball guys. Uh, I want to check this out because I really like the Zen Studios guys. That's exactly why I checked that out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just... I'm trolling you. <laughs> You're an ass. Walked into it, it. It actually does look fun, though. It is fun. Uh, it didn't necessarily stream all that well because it's a little bit slower paced than I thought. But it's got a little, a, bu- a bunch of little mechanics um, that uh, that needs to get out of the way and teach you to before things start ramping up. But it's got, yeah. you know, it's kind of uh, worms meets Angry Birds meets um, shit. I'm trying to think of. You basically send send your army out. Um, some little tower defense to it. 
but you also can so you on the controller you can you depending on what face button you're using you can tr you control your ballista which is just like whatever weapon you have on top of your castle and you switch your ammunition from like arrows to um, like a ball and chain to bombs, and you shoot that at the You're castle. You're gonna shoot your wife at him? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> um, shoot that at the approaching enemies or the the castle, and uh, you also have um, a troops button where you just you start sending out different um, different troops based on how many how big your big of an army your castle can support. And then you have a hero button where you summer, summon your knight, and you can control him just like any any regular character, and go um, kill your enemies. So you just kind of use the combination of those uh, those features to defend your castle and take down the enemy's castle. But um, in the actual story mode, it just it ramps it up one piece at a time. So you're usually like only controlling the hero, or only worried about your troops, or only worried about the ballista until it ramps up and you start customizing your castle. And I think once you get into it, that it would be it could be really fun and frantic. Um, and also, if you have a friend that's really into it, it could be really fun to play versus mode. Have you done that? No, I'm still getting. I'm still ramping so up. How so how do you? You're just guessing at that. You I'm, don't know. I'm ge yeah, I'm still guessing. No, it just came out for PC. I did not play it on the 360, so um, that's why it's I'm like a little behind. Yeah, I, yeah, it looks it looks pretty cool. I thought Good. this is one I thought I'd check out on a Steam sale. Yeah, definitely. I I can't I can't recommend it for the full price yet. So, Gazoon tight, Ethan. Oh man, <laughs> have an allergy attack over there. Oh, I, I muted I muted them. Uh, when that storm came by, it blew a bunch of pollen into my home. It was an attack from Mother Nature from different different sides. She couldn't get the uh, power out, but she could get internally my power out. But I won't give up. I won't surrender. <laughs> it was a pollinado. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sci-fi pitch didn't go over as well. No. No, oh, like, it, it's oh. kind of good it didn't. <laughs> it... it, it <laughs> An hour and fifteen minutes into the movie, when the pollinado hits, everybody starts sneezing and get <laughs> headaches, and they can't breathe. And it's it's all it's a it's awful. It's anarchy. As long as uh, I get an original cast member from nine hundred two one two one zero, I'm in. Or mm. Casper Van Dien. Yeah, <laughs> Casper Van Dien, starring Casper Van Dien and Shannon Doherty, and Lorenzo Lamas. <laughs> Um, update on yes. the yes. arcade challenge. Tapper kicked all of our asses last week. I I talked a little bit about it on the show, but when we got into it later in the week, and people playing some like some high end Tapper, that game that game gets really crazy and really hard high to play. End tapper? <laughs> yeah. Did you, did you say that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I really want a Tapper arcade machine now. Root beer or Budweiser? Budweiser. That the so how, do you know what, what's the story behind that? Like I'm assuming the first run probably had some Budweiser uh, tie-ins to it, and it's such it's yeah. like the best commercial commercial for a product video game I've ever played. Yeah, right. Um, I yeah, I mean that I don't think that's the greatest game in the world. It's fine, but oh, yeah, the, it's, I want the it, the handle makes it like the actual. Mm -hmm. That's that's pretty. Sweet. It's but it's. I mean, it's it's simple, but it's for it's formula works, and for one of those kind of classic classic games that I'd never played, it it held up really well. We had a lot of fun with yeah. it. Yeah. So, but uh, this week's game, it, I changed things up quite a bit, and we're playing Elevator Action Two, and oh that, man, that game got some interesting reactions. But was this uh, what my recommendation? Yeah, I think you. Yeah, I think you talked about it for a while back, but it's it's going over well. It um, it isn't the game that I expected at all. It's like much. It's much more of an action movie. I thought it was going to be like more of a puzzle platformer, like a chased kind of game. I don't know what game Hell I had no. in my head. This is there's a lot of good explosions in this game. Hell yeah, there are like buildings <laughs> collapsing, stuffs blowing up. I love, like the graphics are really good, and I I really like the way everything moves and feels. It's got it's still got that it's got that like uh. I mean, you know, you can describe this better than I can. You, but I've played it recently too, and it's uh, the way the movement is a little more 
gosh, it's not stilted. What's the word I'm looking for? Where you know, like flashback Prince of Persia style, where you're kind of moving in kind of deliberate lateral uh, steps. <laughs> <laughs> No, not exactly. I'm talking about the mechanics. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, that that game is one of my favorite arcade games for just, like, stupid fun. Mm -hmm. Like, it's kind of a, it was always kind of a guilty pleasure, but um, uh, having played a co-op, that game goes up even higher on the list, uh, you know, of, like, you know, buddy co-op arcade games, which there are a lot of, right? So that's obviously a big list, but... Um, shit just gets crazy in that game, and it's so shooting shit is satisfying. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. I, Elevator I like Action it. Returns, I believe, is the actual name of that. Oh, okay. Did they make a movie based on this? <laughs> Die Hard. Was, it, was, it, was that it's Die inspired Hard? by yeah. a bunch of movies? Yeah. I like the second stage. Basically, starts off with you riding an airplane into right into an airport, like the you yep. crash through the window, and uh, that's when when the game yep. sold sold. Sold it on me, but we're having a lot of a lot of fun with it, especially coming off of how how uh, just skill based Tapper was. Like it just, it, I was trying to change up the pace, and it's 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 worked out pretty well. So, um, game I'm most excited about right now um, is that I finally get to play some multiplayer Mercenary Kings. It's another early oh. release game. Um, it How's was that? Fe- it's it's really fun. It's it's like. Um, what was I? What was my math? My math equation here was Metal Slug plus Mega Man plus River City Ransom. Okay. And it's made by the guys that did the Scott Pilgrim beat 'em up. So the the artwork and is fantastic. Yes, that artwork is from the dude or dudes or dudettes, whoever that did the uh, Super Pirate Baby Cabana Battle two thousand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, that something like that. What? I'm sure. But you know, okay, it was a, <clears throat> it was like a video. Um, I remember it was on like Newgrounds and YouTube and shit. But it wasn't. It looked like a video game, but it was fake. It wasn't an actual game, but it had the. Mm. It looked the graphics kind of looked like that. It, it was. Oh, okay. It, it was amazing looking, and all that I could think at the time was, "Holy shit! I wish someone would make a game that looks like this." And then, of course, since then there have been several. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, this I didn't. This game didn't sink its teeth into me right away. Like, I tried two single-player sessions with it and just didn't get it because you kind of start off in your hub, uh, your, your your jungle base, and you choose your mission, and you go out in the jungle, and you have to accomplish whatever on, on that map. And the whole time, you're killing dudes, and they die in satisfying ways. I like I like blowing people's heads off and th- because they blow up like balloons sometimes. And, um, but you're collecting like raw materials. I didn't really know what to do with that at first and trying to, you know, they have different missions where you're trying to kill, kill a specific guy, uh, kill a certain number of spipe snipers, maybe rescue some hostages. It gives you like one, di- one mission objective every time you go out. Um, but once I started actually getting raw materials together and I, you start like building mods for your guns that's kind of where the game gets pretty fun because you just put like you know a a shotgun stock on your handgun and it modifies it and makes it you know more powerful and um and, and it also employs an active reload system like Gears of War which is really really satisfying in a 2D shooter for some reason so that's a lot of fun and then my favorite feature of the game when you finish a mission and it just like covers the screen and mission complete or mission accomplished or whatever it says that. Uh, you can shoot into the air behind behind it while it fades out, and so it's, it adds <laughs> some good celebrations. Um, it also, when we played multiplayer, has like just a quick little menu where you can, you know, give directions to your your buddies, like you know, uh, go over here, stay. But it also has like really generic commands, so we were abusing that. And it's a lot more faster pace when you have two or three people playing. And um, once you kind of get through the first couple missions and start upgrading your inventory and it unlocks more missions it 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 really picks up in pace and uh the shooting's great and it's it's really fun to play so uh, it still has a ways to go I, like the only things i notice uh, that it's missing right now is a lot of just little little sound bites just the immersion type stuff but the 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 basics the foundation of the game are there it's 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 looking pretty damn good so yeah that's, i want to uh, i want to play it yeah i highly recommend that so and highly recommend the multiplayer. Worked really well. Uh, I think 
Uh, other than that, I'm continuing my Skyrim and Earthbound streams. Um, I was trying to think of what Lydia and I actually accomplished this weekend. What did we do? Um, I still have a lot of trouble. Josh, you, you popped on at the right time. Just navigating some of the Skyrim dungeons and figuring out how to solve some of the puzzles. Because they're so obvious, but I still... I'm not experienced enough, and I don't really know what little clues I'm looking for, and I just feel like a dumbass every stream, but I'm getting there. Yeah, well, that one in particular, I'm sure I either had to look up or the game at some point gave me a hint that told me what to do, but yeah. uh, it's got the classic... I, what, is it Resident Evil that does that, where you examine an object and you rotate you it around it, and yeah. you see like clues on it yeah. and stuff? Uh, there, that was just one of those... Um, and then I, I stumbled into some Dawn Guard content, which was probably the highlight of my playthrough so far. Because I'm just wandering around, picking... I like to just pick one of all the cities and just walk over towards them and get distracted along the way until I've basically unlocked a fast travel path to the cities. Mm. So that's kind of been my goal. But I basically wandered into this crack den run by vampires and... Uh, just decided to cleanse the world of junkies and vampires, and it was a lot of fun. It uh, was the most violent my character's gotten in a while, but it was really satisfying. They didn't really ask for anything, but I turned on everybody. I'd really like to uh, play a mod for Skyrim that just takes takes out all the towns, and it's just all the wilderness, and yeah. and you just and there's no enemies. There's more animals, and all the animals are friendly, and you can't attack, and you. Uh, and you just like make friends is the only game mechanic, and but Animal well, like, Crossing and like fishing and stuff like that, and you just yeah. go and you and when yeah. you, when you find a like Skyrim a scenic New viewpoint, Leaf. when you find a scenic viewpoint, you can like sit down like on some rocks in a cool stream while the sun's setting, and it just starts playing some nice happy folk tunes, you know, and just like it's just pleasant. I just want it to be just real nice. I just like real nice relaxing experience. <laughs> You know, there's a game Skyrim. like that. What was the, what was that game? Uh, the art game I talked about a few weeks ago. Fuck! It's you just basically do the same thing. You walk through this uh, land. Uh, doesn't look like Skyrim does, but it just plays music and you meet animals. Yeah. Um, I'll have to think about it. What, what it was called? Yeah. I don't know. What, I don't know what you guys could possibly be talking about. So uh, yeah, I'll continue those streams. Earthbound is still charming as hell, but I will talk about that when I have a bigger milestone. So. Uh, we are running a little bit long here, so we're going to skip over the game bit. the game updates and uh, just close out the show with our game pitches. Um, you guys, looks like you guys came prepared. Um, <laughs> did we? Did we prepared? <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah, look, yeah. Ethan, you wrote something down. I did. Looks like it. <laughs> what you got, Ethan? Uh, I guess... I guess um, <laughs> A muse came into uh, my uh, little little section here. So we've got we've got a point and click adventure with trucks. Okay, but what I'm really interested in is the story about cowboys building a ramp to the moon. <laughs> now this is your idea, so I'm just but, but, guessing here. But yeah, I yeah. I'm guessing that that ramp doesn't reach all the way to the moon, just enough so that they get enough speed going up it in the trucks to actually reach it. So they have to oh. get enough speed to clear the atmosphere and the gravity of pull of the earth. When I wrote this down, I don't remember what I was thinking. Do you think maybe I meant not to put a comma there? Maybe I meant to say point and click <laughs> adventure with truck story about cowboys building a ramp to the moon. Now I would have, obviously I should have phrased it in a little bit more coherent way, but um, do you think maybe that's what I was thinking? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I think I, I'm pretty sure that this, I mean, those, that's the same game. Is that what you're asking? Yeah, that's kind of what, yeah. I, yeah, I mean, it, it, yeah, I'm sure it was the same game, and that's what the story of the Point Click okay. Adventure with Trucks was about, obviously. I, I actually really like the idea of, of two cowboys uh, together building a ramp. Just not to yeah. the moon, but close just enough. Just in general? <laughs> to, yeah, I just, I think it's I just hardworking men. You know, that's what it's, okay. uh, wrong with yeah. like building ramps. It's called Brookback Crater. <laughs> Gamers crater need... Cave. Uh, a hero who who can represent the blue collar, you know, um, worker of our, our our world. Because I mean, what what you know, we feel like we're working to to a goal that doesn't exist, and building a ramp to the moon is somewhat symbolic of that. Yeah, yeah, it, it really is. Like, it, yeah, sounds like a pretty nice love story, and yeah. and just like you know, it's about 
uh, brotherhood and aspirations. Yeah. And and beating the odds, you know, like all that feel good shit. That's yeah. yeah that's really American sounding oh, game. People, yeah, people love it. People love when the odds are stacked against them. <laughs> two cowboys and a pickup truck. <laughs> ran. We're gonna do this, Cletus. We're going back to the moon. Let's do. <laughs> Just they hold. They hold hands as they as they ramp. Yeah, and as soon as they, they get up into the into the into space, and you just you see them, they're floating. Uh, just, everything goes silent, and you just hear the twang of a guitar. And they look at each other with just that knowing eyes, knowing mm-hmm. eyes, and then they die from being in space. <laughs> oh, I, I I thought you were going in a different direction. I thought. But the truck of, hits the moon. They look at each other with just so much lust and that they knew that their love could only be shown fully in outer space and then, <laughs> and then they, they died so they, they died so anyway. they pit stop at the space station to gas up and <laughs> they go into the restroom <laughs> together <laughs> for about 20 minutes the, the international space station rest stop hey it's what are you guys place. what are you guys doing here what are you doing here that's a, that's not a place for cowboys <laughs> ain't, ain't no place a cowboy ain't welcome. <laughs> Boom, ending, and then everyone dies. We're I looking like to it. join the Thousand Mile High Club. <laughs> What's drifting? <laughs> oh boy, Josh, let's go in a different direction. What you got? I, I'd play that game. <laughs> no, that's my game too. I want oh. that one. That's what I want. Okay. Uh, no, I can't. That's Ethan gets all the credit for that one. Yeah, uh, absolutely. So I, I've got. Uh, 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 I have an Oculus Rift augmented reality game that is actually a sequel to They Live. Ooh. Starring a disinterested Roddy Piper and some tape recording. Why did I did I write this? Or did you fuck with my? And some <laughs> tape recordings of Keith David's voice from various films and commercials. Okay, so the first part of this <laughs> is the one that makes sense. Um, so They Live was fantastic, and if you remember from the movie, uh, there's aliens among us. And they're brainwashing us, and nobody can see them except Roddy Piper uh, and his cool sunglasses that he stole from a church. I don't even know, but uh, and they and he has to beat up Keith David to get him to wear them. Uh, Whoa! And uh, they have and they, a oh my god, kind of a, kind of a pretty good fight in an alley. It's the greatest fight scene of all time. <laughs> it, it, it it's the longest is. fight scene of all time. <laughs> and uh, yes, it is, and. Uh, and I was just thinking, you know, o- Oculus Rift obviously is cool, but um, at some point what we need is a camera on the front of this thing that also lets you see, you know, actually what's happening around you. But the augmented reality stuff where, where you're like, you know, you're looking around your room and, oh, a, a Pokemon's coming out of my desk and I'm going to catch it. You know, that's fun. But what if your neighbor was a fucking alien and he was, and you had to <laughs> shoot him in the face? Like that sounds great, but you can't do that in real life because you'd be crazy and you go to jail or die. So we're gonna do it in a video game. <laughs> they live too. They're back. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't die. They're still they live too. They living. live again. <laughs> or or we live. Oh, so what happens? Shit. What happens when you're walking around? And they this die. augmented reality world, and you actually come across Keith David. Uh, well, that's the thing. Like, so that would be an Easter egg, obviously. And, <laughs> and he you're would, just friends with him. Does it flip so, the game out? So whoever's publishing this is going to spend the money on this part. They're going to take any actors that were in the original film, and they're going to pay them a lot of money so that Anytime they run into somebody that's actually playing the game, they have to get in character immediately, and they have to, like on the spot, and they are carrying a pistol, and they are shooting some aliens in the face, and they have they the have sunglasses strapped in their pocket. At all times. They have to wear shirts with front pockets all at all times, and they have the gla- sunglasses in there. They pull them out, and they throw them on, and they're like over there, and then the game knows because it, this is really yeah. advanced technology, um, and. Uh, and so this is a Vita in your pocket, by the way, hooked up to the Oculus Rift. Oh, shit. And, and so because it, it's powerful enough to do this. And <laughs> then and they, so they see, you see the people, you know, the aliens, and you're both shooting at them with, you know, uh, well, they're fake guns, obviously, but they look real. And, and all the, the people that are not aliens, obviously, they're freaking out and running away. But That's real. 
and that's and, for, that's real. So there's no processing power needs to be taken up with that. See, yeah. I'm thinking about the technical details too, and that. But the aliens you shoot in in the in the headset that looks uh -huh. like you killed them and they died and they were like aliens, obey and then uh, <laughs> uh, and then but but the actual real people ran away but they're like erased out of the video game part so you don't see them running uh, away from the crazy people with plastic guns and you know and celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> is is obey just a word that was just stuck in this alien's throat like he was about to say it or do they like instinctually like, we, we have one last chance to convert this individual while we die well yeah, I, can't, I can't imagine that wherever their home planet is that that like aliens just walking around thinking about like how do we brainwash other species so I would assume that the ones that are on earth they've been there for a little bit They've been. I mean, this movie was in the '80s, and it's 2013. Uh, they've been doing this a while, and that's probably all they do is just think about like, I gotta brainwash all every single one. I can't go back home. They won't let me go back through the space teleporter thing until I brainwash every single human. So yeah, that's they're just gonna have that on the mind. Yeah, that's true. That sounds good. Obey your thirst. Drink spry. <laughs> so that's. That's, I just ooh, that's that. I just like the possibility of a future where actors sign contracts with augmented reality games, and mm -hmm. they have to <laughs> at any point mm -hmm. if they come across the one playing the game, they have to jump into character. Yes, yeah. that. Um, and then I'm waiting for like Mel Gibson to, to like use that excuse in court for when he <laughs> finally <laughs> <laughs> breaks the law or does something over the top. But what happens if there's multiple um, augmented reality games going on, and so when an actor sees you with an Oculus Rift, and they just uh, assume that it's your, it's their game that you're playing. I mean, how are we going to prevent that from happening? <gasps> Why would anybody oh, with a fucking trip. Oculus Rift be playing any other game but this? You're an idiot. If sorry if, if it ruined your experience, but what if I mean, <laughs> what if you? Have Mel Gibson's what, in two games. What if Mel yeah. Gibson? What if Mel Gibson's in two games? <laughs> what if What if Mel Gibson's in the Cowboy game? The Cowboy game's an Oculus Rift game, and so you got somebody who hey, looks if, like they're building a ramp, but they could be wielding a gun. You don't know, and Mel Gibson just blows his mind. He has no idea what's happening. I mean, what if What if you're playing the Mad Max Oculus Rift game, and then all of a sudden switch to the What Women Want Oculus? Which Rift which, game? Arc, which augmented reality do you exist in? <laughs> <laughs> When the entire time you're actually just playing this higher level no. meta game of just trying to break Mel Gibson, you get me. <laughs> yeah, I would. I would hope that your your HUD would display like a pop up notification thing, and it's like Mel Gibson is in your vicinity. Switch to this other game. <laughs> like that's what he's playing right now. So you got to switch over. Like, oh, Mel's doing Space Cowboys. So let's wait. That was already a thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> whatever. Interstellar Cowboys. Uh, well, let's. Let's uh, switch over to that, and you just swipe in the air with your fucking Kinect uh, camera, and that you also have mounted to your head, and uh, you switch over to that game. Dude, you're gonna have like linebacker like neck muscles by the end of this <laughs> contraption you have on it. And you also have a Ghostbuster backpack with a proton gun jammed up your ass too. That's it. like I mean, that's what we're getting. Like at some point, you're gonna have to run out of room for peripherals. You have to start putting stuff in your ass. Hey. I'm not. I'm not even kidding. I would play an Oculus Rift augmented reality <laughs> Ghostbusters game. Oh, I thought that okay. is not what I thought you meant. <laughs> Me either. I'm not. Even, I I'm not even kidding. I would much. love to put something in my butt. I would love it. <laughs> yeah, I would probably put one of the ghost traps in my butt, oh. and then people could Gosh. just walk up and step on the thing and open some. No, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, I am a walking containment unit, sucking all the ghosts in my ass. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I think it's up to fire code, though. Where'd all the ghosts You'll be go? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, man. I think that's it. I think that's all the Night Force I can stand <laughs> and all the Josh Lee I can stand. <laughs> um, I, I figured this, is a, this could be a one-time thing. I don't know. So I just had to make the most of it. <laughs> <laughs> Turned into a poop cast. <laughs> and now he's pitching his other show. Damn it. Um, Ethan, thanks for hanging out. Josh, yeah. thanks for jumping on. Chat, <laughs> my pleasure. Thanks for hanging out, and uh, we're going to sign off here and then uh, announce our winner of our Puppet Games giveaway. Uh, we'll see you in a minute.